We're back. This is the second part. As you know, this woman, she's so deep. She's so wonderful. And it's just a beautiful cause for you and for all of us, particularly at the holidays and Christmas time. So with that in mind, we're going to get back to Miss Paul's story. Well, welcome back, Miss Paul. Thank you, Miss Gina. You know, we appreciate this holiday treatment and goodies that we're receiving from you, <laughs> or wellness and all of these other things. But we know that you do so many things. Right. So I don't want to talk anymore. I want you to talk because the people are so interested in hearing the rest of your story. Thank you. I just wanted to also say that I am also a woman who, you know, I back up what I say. Uh, just to give you a couple of my uh, credentials, I got my, my bachelor's in psychology with a minor in French and Spanish. And um, after getting that exposure to psychology, I believe looking back in, you know, looking back now, I believe that was one of the experiences that really catapulted me to um, exploring my, you know, being curious and it getting me into this world of personal development and um, self-discovery. So right after that, uh, I decided to get my MBA in management. And then um, as I continued the journey, it started to bring up a lot of my purpose and my passion. So I decided to, why not, get my uh, degree also in um, culinary. Okay. And as well as um, I'm also a certified life coach and certified uh, holistic health coach and a nutritionist. So I do back up what I say and I, you know, I have the worldly experience. So I'm not just your fly-by-night person. I, 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 I am a testimony to definitely not only having the ex education but the worldly experience too. Right, which is wonderful. You know, that in itself, the holistic part, me and being a person that um, had so many different challenges, but through my spirituality and my prayer so powerful, I'm always able to overcome that. And in a sense, there's so many people that, for whatever reason, they don't seem to make it. And I know I'm also fortunate to always be uh, with my spirit at the right place at the right time. That your holistic and wellness is, is such a great benefit for me to have you like in my presence, in my spirit, and in the studio, for, you know, for the whole world. Oh, my I, word. I really can't tell you how deeply appreciative I am. And um, there's really no words that can say. Because oh, this will Gina. be the first time in three years that I haven't had to be going to Sloan Kettering or Cornell to have some kind of series or some kind of serious circumstance or situation. And you're right, it's not that I'm not educated that I don't know what to eat and that I don't eat well or anything like that. But my DNA and you know my, my calm Genetic. of course from my from my from my father history. and my history, it also puts on it's extra different. challenges that yeah. I would f prefer to not have. But like you said, these challenges and these obstacles that I have to fight and defend myself with is how I've been winning. So I'm so deeply grateful. But when you say culinary, I just love food. Oh, my goodness. So the fact that you also, you know, that you have an open book for people to come in so you can encourage them to change their life and to want to do better for themselves, which is so profound. And that's mm -hmm. more of a mental challenge. You know what I mean? And then you also can show them how to eat and what to diet on so that they, I mean, as you get to get closer to, you know, the people that are under your care. Yes, ma'am. You yeah. know, it's, I that's wanna, amazing. I want to say first and foremost, you definitely have somebody watching over you. And you definitely have, Ms. Gina, you definitely have 13 lives. And yes, that's thank truly... You what you've overcome, you're truly a champion. So I just wanted to share and pay respect to that. As far as the food aspect and the food, uh, the food area of my, of, 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 of my passion and my purpose, okay. I, you know, all of these things I say, it's not for me to be braggadocious. Right. I'm living, I live different um, 
tools in my arsenal. When I talk about the wheel of wellness, uh, wheel of wellness and life wheel, if once, if you even take about five minutes to see, there is a connection. Everything is connected. Absolutely, the universe. The, it, it's all connected. It just takes a minute to just look at, you know, look to sit, listen, read, and connect the dots. And the reason why I bring that up is, I mentioned that I had I'm severely lactose intolerant. Okay. And and that's not a good that's not a bad thing. I embrace it. I embody it. Right. And that's one of the reasons well, why did you I like went milk to Cullen. Did you like I love milk. milk okay. But you know what? They're alternatives. Yeah. It's there not that are, good. It's not that healthy for you. It, exactly. They're <laughs> alternatives. We have the almond milks now. Yes. We have so Delicious. many alternatives. Yes. And I'm a as I said, I'm a life learner. I I am somebody that loves to do my research. Yes. I would like to, I would not only do the research, I want to have hard facts. Exactly. And, concrete. You know, concrete hard facts. And if that can be on a personal level to be able to experience it, absolutely. And I did, I went on this journey and, you know, all these um, opportunities that I've had to participate in all these platforms, academia, are just chapters in my journey, are chapters in my book in terms of how I can be of service and support to people. And you know, people can diagnose you with one thing, but that's not that's not your life. No. You have the opportunity to explore. You have the opportunity to do the research. You have the opportunity to the world is truly your opal or your oyster. So right. I took that um, that diagnosis as an opportunity for me to find out more alternatives that I can eat. Exactly. And still maintain that wholesome, flavorful you know, flavorful cuisines, dishes. And it happened that, you know, I can, there are so many opportunities and so many food uh, meals that you can eat. We're talking about the Mediterranean diet. It is very, very healthy. We're yes, it is. And when I talk about Mediterranean diet, I'm not talking about bland. Or, it, ha it comes and it's packed with a lot of flavor. And you herbs. Have, and herbs and spices. And herbs and, and spices are delicious. And you just have to delicious. be open. It's about that willingness to be open to experience new things, to be able to experience new experiences that will give you, you know, answers. Yes, granted, yes. you don't, you, you know, you, in that, ex in that situation, you're, you're, you're faced with the unknown. But I tell you, with the unknown, there lies beauty. There lies treasures, hidden Absolutely. treasures. You have to learn how to take the risk. You have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And That's right. At the end of the day, when you get, when you have that opportunity, embrace it. Yeah, because it's going to make you grow. It's going to not only make you grow, but what you may be hiding from may lie behind it, that door. Door. And it and will come open it. more than what you expect it to come. Right. You. It will come in so many different. Beauty, it will have so much beauty behind it, it's going to be behind, beyond your wildest dreams. Yes. So the unknown has a lot of opportunities for you. So yes. anyhow, the culinary journey was, the reason why I went on that journey was because I wanted to find out more about what alternatives that I have in terms of this lactose intolerant. Not, yes, I'm glad that, you know, I can, I can substitute or use olive oil rather than butter. Right. I can use um, herbs and spices rather than um, nothing at all. And when we talk about herbs and spices, you have herbs and spices from all over the world. Wow. Yes. And it, there's so many similarities. What you, the herbs that we call um, uh, a cilantro here, in Europe they call it coriander. Yes. So you have you have so many things. And Africa that, has so many beautiful and, uh, yes, herbs and spices oh that are just that when you create, when they create the food and the spices, also with that, with the intention, this also makes it healthy so that you don't catch colds and flu yes, and stuff like that. Yes, there's a lot of beneficial they use medicinal benefits. Absolutely no meat, and it is. Delicious. I mean, I, it's delicious, <laughs> but then I, I, I know that there's a lot of people that don't care for the African tasting food, 
because it's not tried it from, before. From the Ivy Coast of Africa anyway, and right. I do have relatives and family over in Africa. However, I don't see what they don't like. It's delicious. And that go, I mean, I'm, so so delicious glad, I'm so glad you brought that, they, that up. That they eat it with their hands. But you, you also you know, brought you know up I mean. something <laughs> very interesting, Miss mm -hmm. Gina, that they are not utilizing what that intellectual part, and when we say intellectual part of that, that wellness wheel, right. where you should be open to new things, where you should be open to Healthy. new experience, experiences, Healthy. because yeah. you know what, that helps with your personal decisions, that helps with integrating with different people from around the world, and ultimately community betterment. Right. And you know, it's about just letting go and taking the risk. And a tasty risk at a that. A tasty too. risk. Yeah. These, same, these and things. As you said, I love my African cuisine. I, you know, yeah, me and too. there's a lot that are so, there's, they're the classic where you, there's such classic dishes that you can transition it to other, uh, not only dishes in African dishes, but I've noticed that some of our African dishes you find in North Africa as well. Yes, uh, the food a, is delicious. I love the, like the, the food, Ethiopian the spice. and Ethiopian. it can be too hot. So if it <laughs> is too hot, you ask for a milder, you know, exactly, mild. exactly. Because the I know that everybody, you know, they claim that the you know the the hot sauce, but the that is originally the really the hottest. You know, from the African yeah, yeah, uh, cuisine, abso absolutely. But well, as you said, yeah. you can mm -hmm. have uh, different options. You can yeah. have it without being spicy. You can have it without being yeah. spicy. You can have it what mild they can and even spicy. Do with peanut butter and <laughs> the peanuts. Well, you well, know they have the peanut butter that. soup too. Yeah, it's delicious. It's, it, it's indigenous to the Ghanaians. Yes. Because they eat, they, they they mix peanut butter into their soup. Yeah. While we're on this journey of the how things are so similar. The plantain, which is in the banana yes. family, is worldwide. You find it not only in the African cuisine, but you yeah. also find it in the Latin American okay. cuisine. Absolutely. As well as some of the North American cuisine. Like yes. The yeah. so, and that potassium from that is what the body encourages to the strengthen bones. the heart, and the, the bones. the bones, exactly. And keep down strokes. Exactly. You see what I mean? So that goes back to being open-minded, yes. being willing to do the research, being willing to be open, being willing to argue, being willing to question, not just take things for face value. value exactly. And that's one of the reasons behind why we bring this program out to people because it's just reinforcing that behind it all, you have the right to question and you have the right to do your research. Exactly. Just don't go with how things are, because that's that's a recipe for a disaster. Lot. Yeah, following somebody else. Exactly. Follow the law. I Follow the law. <laughs> but even if it's the law, you yeah. can still have your self identity. Identity. Exactly, and you can still, from your own personal preference. Dab a little this or dab a little that. If you don't like those things, exactly. don't You can dab change it. it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can change it. You don't have to go with what is. Yes, exactly. And that, Creating that is so important. You don't have to always have permission. Yeah, You have exactly. the right to question and yeah. you have a right to argue. And yeah. that's a lot of, uh, when, you, if you, when you really do the work and you do the research, that's another underlying cause of where we, why we are where we are today. It takes you to make the littlest change in this world yes. that makes this world better for all generations. Yes, exactly, because we are all in this together. Yeah. Like it or not. We are all in this together. What John, like it or what, not. <laughs> what, what John does today impacts me and you tomorrow. tomorrow. Exactly. So I want, you know, I am tired of people see or running, coming across people who are well, people that worship differently too? It's the same thing. Meism and this yep. self-centeredness. It's just ridiculous. It's, it, you know, it's not getting us anywhere. anywhere. What it's creating is turmoil. What it's yeah. creating is a, 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 you know, division right. when we should be unified. You're right. And that's why. And three, you know, over 300 years of this nonsense. <sighs> when are we going to let it go? And we, this wellness, this, this part, is it that? 
where does all this hate come from? Do you think that it's, I don't think it's inst instilled inside people. You no, know, when you're in a hurry, you miss the beauty the, of it. Of you things. miss the simplicity. And yeah. you know, um, one of my philosophers, David Henry Thoreau said it so well. In simplicity, there's beauty and magnanimity. Yes, it is. President Akeda, which I don't know if you've ever heard of him, but he's, he's a writer and a poet and world known. He's also what, the president of SGI. There are certain individuals that he always goes to to say, and what you just quote, he quotes the different authors, the poets, and people from all around the world all of the time. And that's a good thing because what you're teaching also is to rely on culture, and culture is for everybody, and everybody, no one's ex excluded. Right. So everybody can, we can all just ha join hands. Yeah, absolutely. And we all can just taste different things. Exactly. And we can all learn different dances. And we can all learn the, the languages if we like to. And there used to be not, a time when people used to love to speak. You would have people speaking four and five languages. Yeah. Believe it now or not. Now it's a crucial if, if a person doesn't even, these kids don't even want to learn one in school these days. I don't know what happened to the commitment of even the language. Thank you. I, I, I mean, don't it's either. just ridiculous. It, it's like every time it's it, it's. It's always it's something that they want to take after away. The other. Thank you. Why then? Why, why do you that? call yourself an educational institution? Exactly. Why are you always pushing kids through? Yes. Why aren't you taking time? Right. Exactly. To, to really give teach them, them. Thank you. Why are we? Why are our kids in this state of uh, of of uh, of chaos. anger, chaos. Yes. Um, you know, um, spontaneous gratification. They want what they, they want, want when, they, when want. they want it. Why don't they want to do the work? Why right. is it me, me, me? me Why me, don't me. they have respect anymore? Because yeah. you know what? They're not taking responsibility. The 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 um, our kids, our parents, our teachers. Our clergy, right. our, our, our government. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to take responsibility? But you know what? Pass the natural the blame. law Pass says the blame. Pass the blame. it is our responsibility. Yeah. And again, it goes back to the wheel of life yeah. or the wheel of wellness, where it says, where it talks about the environmental wellness. Yes. We all have a responsibility. Absolutely. To the quality and of it's water. The process air, we did here, and we and know land. that we're supposed to do the right thing by the universe. Thank you. Earth. Where did that get lost divorce. in translation? I don't know. Killing when all of the animals, killing all of the sea world. It's because people don't read anymore. People no. don't want to. People don't want to take responsibility, responsibility. anymore. And then, now but you have that, to take responsibility. The officials, the president, saying there's no such a thing as these things, and it's and certainly it, the climate change. It, we all see it. We've been feeling exactly. it in the last twenty and years. And that's again why we have to go back to basics to yeah. instill this, to instill these basics to be able to help our current generation, our future, whoever, mm -hmm. to be able to stand firm on who they are. And once you know who you are, you'll be better able, you'll be not only better equipped mm -hmm. mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, but you'll be better equipped intellectually to make decisions. Wonderful. To make the right decisions, decisions. based on your North Star, exactly. based on your experiences, based on your justice, based on, and I'm not saying that everybody, you know, be in it, be, you know, create your own justice system, but you'll be able to know and set yourself apart from others and know what makes you wake up in the morning. That's right. What makes you wake up in the morning. That's exactly true. What guides you what leads you yes and you'll be able to stand with conviction and be uniquely you absolutely and only you can be you anyway so your minds Thank will you. stop attending so embrace it embrace it and stop being a follower be a leader well here's what i know the people in the audience want me to ask you where is your center where is it that the people that are interested they know they know people all around the world and if they're here in new york city which is your umbrella, your first, so to speak, location. Yes. 
Well, I work out of, uh, first, you can find me on yes, uh, social media. Yes, give them the information. You can find me on social media. Okay. Uh, I, you can find me on my two favorite social media platforms, and I li limit it to actually two or three. Okay. You can find me on Instagram under a day in your life. That's A-D-E-I-N-Y-O-U-R-L-I-F-E, and that's attached to my name at a joke, A-D-E-J-O-K-E. And um, you can find me on uh, LinkedIn as well under the same um, uh, handle, A Day in Your Life, uh, and under Adejoke. And you can find me on Twitter. However, if you are in our city that never sleeps, I, you can reach me uh, by your, my email at adayinyourlife at gmail.com. Okay. Or, um, at, or you can reach me by phone at 646-323-5500, and we can go from there. Uh, we are moving from, 2020 has a lot of new things coming at A Day in Your Life. Okay. We will be moving from one-on-one -on -one coaching mm -hmm. um, to online, having things act, you know, accessible online, having programs accessible online. So okay. not only we can reach our audience domestically, but we can also reach them globally too. So stay tuned. 2020 has a lot of new things coming from a day in your life. Which is wonderful. Listen, you're so informative and just so wonderful. Do you proceed down the line where you might take a moment out? I know it's, you're extremely busy because what you're talking about um, is all just a big process of helping the world out in a tremendous way that most of us can't even imagine. But well, do you think that you would ever have a moment to sit down and maybe write a little book on um, something that, because uh, you, you know, just to me, you sound like you would be just an awesome Oh my uh, lord. Writer, you know, you put something out there that people can share or maybe develop maybe a little one page on a spiritual level, uh, you know, to put in some magazine or even create. Absolutely, absolutely. Is that something that you're thinking That's about something, for the future? Yes, as I said, mm -hmm. new things are coming in 2020 and it's ironic, Miss Gina, that you act, you're talking about a book. Um, actually, the book was uh, was supposed to we were supposed to have a draft by the fourth quarter of 2019, but um, by second quarter of 2020, we do have a book coming out, and it is called um, Big Hearts. and Big Hearts. Big Hearts. And this is the author, people. Yes, Big Hearts. Get that hearts. book when it comes out. Big Hearts. It's the fabric of our lives, as well as a cookbook and a workbook from a day in your life. So stay tuned. 2020 has a lot to offer you guys out there and thank you so much for having oh, me well, thank you so much and what we say to you miss paul and myself is happy holidays yes happy kanaka yes merry christmas absolutely and a happy new year yes because 2020 year. is going to be as you just all heard amazing Oh, my goodness. Yes. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. And happy, safe new year to you and your family. Yes. I second that emotion. Happy Kwanzaa. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure being here. And it was my pleasure. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Lord. You are a you amazing You are an amazing sister. Thank you. Likewise. With your powerful energy. Thank you so much. And I so have much. to come to when, when you have something. Yes. I have to come. Miss Gina, you are uh, you are ma you're a maven and a maverick, mm -hmm. and we will be reconnecting because I do want to be able to bring some goodies to you guys that we cook. Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So we'll All be right. doing that in 2020. So All I right. will absolutely. definitely. I'll keep you on my radar. All right. Absolutely. That was amazing. Oh my goodness. That was an amazing hour. I can't you know, wait for it to hit. I mean, everybody's gonna go crazy over it. Because we didn't give them no crap. We gave them things that will really help them. I hope so. For and now I so. and for later. You Wonderful. know, you have to take care of yourself. Amen. You have to structure to make your life better. And you have to be spiritual. We thank you all. And happy holidays again and again and again <laughs> and again. Please See listen out for that email information, for that all of that information. Please write it down. We want you to be a part of it. Yes. 
2020. Woo! Absolutely. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of The Real Self Talk with Sylvia Gina Hunt. And now check out this video by Ada Jokey Paul entitled, What Will You Do in the Next 90 Days? Enjoy. What four things am I going to do to stay in action for the next 90 days? Please expect from me and hold me accountable to saying my prayers, meditating and stretching daily, and doing yoga once a week for the next 90 days. To be mindful and practice good eating habits to stay, maintain, and sustain my health and to be healthy. To be kind to myself as well as others. To join Ignite Your Speak and Write. To do the work, show up, practice, and use the tools and contents to stay in effective radical action to use in my business as well as my side businesses. To also compose, create, write, and compile the content for my book and have a draft of my book by December 31st, 2019. What resources am I going to stay in? Am I going to use to stay in action for the next 90 days? To join Ignite Your Speak and Write, to show up, to do the work, and to practice, and use the tools and contents to stay in effective radical action and apply it to my core business as well as my side businesses, and to attend Speak and Write Encore 2019, November 1st to the 2nd in California. <laughs>